Chapter 101 The Sacred Taoist Scriptures Metropolis, the Shu Emperor, and the Great Brightness King God confronted each other, their tones growing colder and colder. Above the sky, the Wen Palace and Marshall Palace auras were even exploding and spilling out in all directions. Countless powerhouses watched with bated breath, but no one dared to move. Gu Hai's eyes narrowed slightly as he looked towards the Great Brightness King God. The Great Brightness King God had such strength. It could actually make even Great Emperor Xu hesitate slightly. Back then, when you came to my Sun God Palace, you weren't my opponent. The Great Brightness King God coldly said, There was no competition. How can you be so sure? Humph, I will give you another chance. Get out of the metropolis right away. I will spare you from death, Great Emperor Xu said with cold eyes. The Great Ming King God revealed a cold smile. In today's world, apart from the Lord, no one dares to order me. Just as the two were confronting each other, the land of the Marshall Palace, boom, there was a loud bang. The door to the large hall in the center of the Marshall Palace was crashed open by Rolling Black Chair. And as it crashed open, Rolling Black Chair rushed out in all directions. Along with the Black Chair surging out, there was a huge iceberg in general. It was this iceberg that emitted Rolling Black Chair. And from a distance, one could feel a boundless coldness in general. The Great Brightness King God steeply raised an eyebrow. Oh, in the Marshall Palace, it's actually this thing. As he spoke, the Great Brightness King God no longer paid any attention to Emperor Xu, steeply stepping into the sky, probing his hand towards the heavens to pluck it. A great suction force was generated, as if he was going to grab that ice mountain in general. My things, you dare to take them. Great Emperor Xu let out a cold snort, whew. Perhaps understanding the great brightness King God's power, and thus, not being arrogant, he also flew up into the sky and grabbed towards the ice mountain with one hand. The two great powerhouses, their palm deities grasped the iceberg at nearly the same time, boom, boom. The ice mountain merely shook slightly. Seek death. The great brightness King God's face showed a scowl, buzz. Behind the great brightness King God, countless green lights steeply rushed into the sky, and once the green lights came out, the entire heaven and earth were dyed green. There seemed to be a giant peacock plume suddenly appearing in the green light. With the great brightness King God as the center, the peacock plume spread out, as if the peacock was opening its screen, only this peacock screen was too big, seemingly reaching through the heavens and through the earth. Who are you? Behind Great Emperor Shu, even more miles of snow drifted up, filling the sky with flying snow surrounding them. Once the two great powerhouses aura came out, the people in the city, there were countless people who were immediately pressurized and couldn't breathe. Their faces showed a look of horror. Die. The great brightness King God glared in his eyes as his other palm blasted over. As soon as the palm struck out, the void seemed to suddenly resound with the long chorus of thousands of peacocks. It seemed as if millions of peacock shadows whistled towards Great Emperor Xu with that palm. Your Majesty be careful, the crowd of Daoyuan officials shouted in alarm. Emperor Xu, however, revealed a cold smile as his other hand also met it. As he met it, Great Emperor Xu's face revealed a grimace as he struck out with his palm, and a blizzard whistled and in the midst of the blizzard, it seemed that one snow monster could be seen rushing towards the peacock silhouette. The palms of the two great powers collided in the void. Boom! Under the aftershocks, Metropolis City shook violently, and countless people were even shaken to the point of spitting blood from their mouths. Buzz! Steeply, Gu Hai maneuvered the grand formation to form a stance, although it could not isolate the aftershocks, but, it buffered the power of the aftershocks. Many thanks, Mr. Gu. Countless people wiped the blood from the corners of their mouths and looked at Guhai gratefully. A large number of cultivators quickly fled towards the outside of the city. High up in the sky, two powerful men clapped their hands against each other. Ka 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 ka. 
The Doming King God's palm astral, but steeply suddenly formed a layer of frost. But it was the power of the Shu Emperor's palm transferred to the top of the Doming King God's palm. The great Ming King God steeply narrowed his eyes. The Daoyuan officials, however, stared wide-eyed. Your Majesty is better, an official said in surprise. Your Majesty suppressed the Doming King God. The Bat Ancestor revealed a look of surprise. It was as if this matter was extremely abnormal. The Great Brightness King God stared at Emperor Shu, the Yingu Great Technique. You cultivated that legendary forbiddance method, the Yingu Great Method. You're refining yourself into a zombie ancestor body, the body of Yingu. Great Emperor Shu's eyes were ice gold, and he didn't answer the Great Brightness King God. Instead, he pushed harder and harder in his hands. Boom! Frost followed the Palm Dipper straight towards the Darming King God's body, and all of the Darming King God's arms froze in the frost. The Great Brightness King God's face showed a scowl, HMPH. So what if it's the Yingu Great Technique? You are just Yingu. I will kill, and still kill. Boom! On the back of the Great Brightness King God, five Divine Lights steeply rushed up to the sky. And once the five Divine Lights came out, they instantly brushed away all the frost on their hands. Give it to me. Boom! The Great Brightness King God's face grimaced as he exerted himself once again. HMPH, Great Emperor Shu also steeply exerted his force. The sky rolled up into a rolling storm, and with the two of them as the center, a storm vortex was formed. All of a sudden, it made everyone's eyes extremely blurred. Boom! At this very moment, the Palace of Literature also suddenly opened. Holy Dao Book Scripture, Mo Yaika's eyes steeply lit up. Boom! 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 In the metropolis, there was an instant of chaos, as nearly every strong person suddenly rushed up to the sky. Long Shenwu couldn't wait. Li Shenji couldn't wait. Gong Yong Sheng also couldn't wait. Charge, charge, charge. Taking advantage of the fact that Emperor Xu and the Great Brightness King God were fighting over the iceberg, they rushed up to the sky together. Asshole, bold, unbridled. Gong Yangsant, it's you. Above the square of the Great Giant Temple, nearly everyone burst into a rage. The Bat Ancestor, King Shikong, Chin Zaibai, and the Chong clan's crowd of powerhouses all rushed up into the sky near simultaneously, charging towards the two volumes of the sacred Tao book scriptures. Rumble, in the high altitude, there was chaos. At this moment, Li Shenji seemed to have transformed into a divine arrow, roaring up into the sky at an unbelievable speed, and in an instant, he was about to rush to the land of the one volume of the sacred Tao book scripture. My think, you dare to rob it. The Bat Ancestor was extremely fast, reaching high into the sky in just an instant. Boom! Countless bats exploded and spread out, covering the sky and blocking Li Shenji. In the past, when the Bat Ancestor was alone against all the males in the Wu Yu Academy, Li Shenji merely blocked one of the Bat Ancestor's palms, and now, facing the Bat Ancestor once again, would he still be able to resist? 10,000 arrows. Li Shenji let out a loud shout. Boom. With Li Shenji as the center, countless arrows steeply rushed up into the sky. And as soon as the arrows came out, they shot at all the bats in an overwhelming manner. A. The bat ancestor's face palmed and struck again. Li Shenji met it with a palm. Li Shenji, with this amount of cultivation, you still want to fight me? The Bat Ancestor laughed coldly. The two palms collided, but Li Shenji's face showed a scowl. Boom! With a loud bang, the Bat Ancestor steeply stumbled. The palm just now actually failed to suppress Li Shenji, but instead gave Li Shenji a staggering impact. Impossible! You! 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 Bat Ancestor stared in surprise. That day, I hid my clumsiness, Li Shenji said in a cold voice. Hiding my clumsiness, Li Shenji deliberately showed weakness that day. Li Shenji had shown weakness, but in order to leave strength for Bat Ancestor, 
hoping that Bat Ancestor would be able to kill Guhai, but unfortunately, Bat Ancestor still didn't manage to kill Guhai. At this moment, for the sake of a volume of sacred Dao book scripture, Li Shenji no longer hid his clumsiness and instantly erupted with unprecedented strength. Humph, hide your clumsiness. If you don't, you'll die too. The Bat Ancestor's face was hideous. Boom. The two great powerhouses once again clapped once more. The Chong Clan's crowd of powerhouses immediately rushed towards the volume of Holy Dao book scriptures that the Bat Ancestor and Li Shenji were fighting over. Bat Ancestor revealed a cold smile. Even if you, Li Shenji, can block me, the Chong Clan is all my people. Will you be no match? Shu, Shu. Another Holy Dao book scripture. However, Long Shenwu and Gong Yang Sheng charged at it with all their might. King Shenwu, help me get that volume of Holy Dao book scripture. Gong Yang Sheng shouted. His hand grasped the brush and made a steep stroke, instantly separating some of the curmudgeons who had rushed up. Long Shenwu's figure turned around, but he steeply slammed his palm at Qin Zai Bai, King Shikong, and the others who had rushed up. Everyone, you should stop. Long Shenwu let out a cold laugh. Boom. Qin Zi Bai and King Shikong, the two mid-heaven palaces, drew their longswords near the same time and chopped out sky-charging sword diameters, as if they wanted to chop Long Shenwu into pieces. Asshole, that's my Daiyuan's. The sword dangles were ferocious. It seemed to want to chop Long Shenwu into pieces completely. Long Shenwu immediately slammed his palm into the two sword diameters. Boom. The two mid-heaven palaces' sword dangles trembled with a roar, and all of them were blocked. Huh. The aura released around Long Shenwu was not letting up at all compared to Bat Ancestor and Li Shenji. The powerful force immediately suppressed the two of them as they spat out blood. That's my Daoyuans, Qin Zibai said in shock and anger. Now it's my Dokians, Long Shenwu exerted a force. Theft. Qin Zibai received special care, and once again a mouthful of blood spurted out. The Qin family's Lina, martial prodigy. Ha ha, not so good, break it for me. Long Shenwu's eyes glared, as if he was about to lay his hands on Qin Zibai to waste him. Buzz. Steeply, from the city, another sword light came straight at Long Shenwu. The sword light was sharp and ferocious, and in an instant, it arrived in front of Long Shenwu. Long Shenwu's face changed. In his haste, he instantly shook away Qin Zibai and King Shikong's longswords, and instantly met that sword light. Boom, Long Shenwu's figure lurched, and although he blocked that sword light, but it was his face that changed as he looked down. However, he saw that below, at this moment, there was a blind man standing, grasping a long sword in his hand, and just now, he was the one who charged the sky with his sword. Father. Qin Zibai's face steeped in joy. Qin Yun, you're still alive, Long Shenwu's face changed. While Long Shenwu's face was gloomy, the blind man was already at Qin Zibai's side. Long Shenwu's face changed as he probed his hand and took out a long sword as if he was facing an enemy. In the past, under the great Yuan Emperor dynasty, under Emperor Xu, the strongest person. Qin Yun, you're blind, and you can actually use a sword. Long Shenwu said in a deep voice. It's only when you're blind that you can see more clearly. Divine Martial King, retreat. That's not something you can get your hands on. Blind Qin Yun said indifferently. Someone from the Saima family, you're competing with me. Gong Zhong Sheng steeped an angry shout from the distance. However, Saima Chang Kong appeared at an unknown time and actually grabbed a volume of the Holy Dao book scripture before Gong Yang Sheng. Gong Yang Sheng instantly grabbed one as well. The two of them each held a brush, not allowing each other to do so. Saima family, Saima Chang Kong, meet Lord Gong Yang, Lord Virtuous, Chang Kong respect, but the heavenly gift of the Holy Dao book scripture, Chang Kong brazenly fights for it. Lord Gong Yang, don't be offended, Saima Chang Kong respectfully said. 
Long Shen Wu looked at the distant Saima Changkong strikes, but revealed a light smile. These days has been in front of the Gongyang Sheng conceal Saima Changkong's figure, just for today. At this moment, Long Shen Wu wielded his sword and stopped Qin Yun, Qin Zaibai, and King Shikong, creating conditions for the two of them to compete for the sacred Tao book scripture. On the other side, Li Shenji and the Bat Ancestor were in a stalemate, and the Chong clan's crowd immediately rushed towards the other holy Tao book scripture. It looked like they were about to grab it. Right at this moment, a thin needle dragging a red thread instantly overtook the crowd. There, the fine needle steeply pierced the edge of the sacred Tao book scripture, twisted strangely, and pulled violently. Huiyu, the holy Tao book scripture, was instantly pulled back with a single pull and extremely fast speed. The Chong clan's crowd was about to grab it, especially Chong Sheng, who was so close to the strength of that grip, but, right from the gap of his own grip, the Holy Tao Book Scripture was pulled away. What? The faces of the crowd of Chong family vampires changed. The Holy Tao Book Scripture even passed through the center of Bat Ancestor and Li Shenji's palm pairing, and was suddenly pulled away from under the eyes of the two of them. The Bat Ancestor and Li Shenji in the stalemate also stared wide-eyed, revealing a look of disbelief. The sacred Tao Book Scripture that he himself had beaten to death and fought with all his might here, and was about to obtain, was dragged away by a needle and thread. It was instantly pulled away into the distance. Snap! The Holy Tao Book Scripture landed on top of a palm below. Dongfang Bubai. Li Shenji's face abruptly changed and he roared. Dongfang undefeated. You dare to steal from me. The Bat Ancestor's face also changed furiously. However, Dongfang Undefeatable didn't care about this, but handed the Holy Tao Book Scripture to Gu Hai. They are all vying for this item, as if it is as precious as my Sunflower Treasure Scripture. Give it to you. Dongfang Bu Bai laughed. Gu Hai strangely received this volume of Holy Tao Book Scripture. Sure enough, when Eastern Undefeatable strikes, it's awesome. Gu Hai, give back my book scripture. The Bat Ancestor roared in anger with a steep change in his face. Boom. Bat Ancestor and Li Shenji parted with a roar. Gu Hai, however, narrowed his eyes. Xiong is dead. Wanna's revenge. I've already avenged her. And this place is already a mess. There's no point in me staying. So one might as well go first letting Dongfang undefeatable to take the top for a while. When he enters that tunnel and escapes out of the city, then once he disappears towards the mountains and forests, who will be able to find him? Good, Dongfang undefeated nodded. To the side, Mo Yaika revealed a look of surprise. Thirty heavenly and earthly vertical and horizontal grand formation, the cloud beast could manipulate the grand formation by itself, it doesn't need Guhai's presence.